Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another fantastic episode of Halo Combat Evolved. This is my favorite episode, or my favorite, um, definitely my favorite level in all of Halo Combat Evolved. I'm sure it's going to be my favorite episode to put out there. Um, it's so... This is like the coolest twist. So up until this point, it's been us versus the Covenant. And I am going to try and play the majority. I think up until... You'll see what I mean, but up until a point, I'm going to try and play this with the old graphics. I'm definitely going to switch on and off for a little bit. But for the majority of this episode, we will actually be playing in the old school Halo Combat Evolved original graphics. Just because it is... I, I think there, there's more of an ambiance and tone set from the old graphics than there is in the newer graphics. I just feel like it's done better in the older graphics. It just displays more accurately what is actually going on here. But we're taking out all these little Covenant members right now. There's some jackals and some grunts. There's not an elite for this group, so we don't really have to worry about that too much, but it looks like there's a down ship here we can see what it looked like in the old graphics um i haven't really seen any down ships lately or ever in this let's play so i think we definitely have some red flags that this episode is going to be a little bit different right from the gate looks like there's yeah there's the ship that doesn't look like it leads anywhere. This over here likely does. It looks like we could scale some of this tree, so I'm guessing this is the way we have to go. And if you remember from the previous episode, at the end of it, Cortana told us we had to stop Captain Keys from going here to the weapons cache because there was a uh, there was just something she didn't have time to explain it. You can see in the old graphics there, it is much better. I don't really feel like struggling through the forest here. So I'm going to leave the new graphics until we get to the building that we're going to, but then I'm going to switch them back at a certain point in time too because I do think it helps with uh, some of the story having it be in the newer graphics as well so here's a turret you can see there's a, a large firefight there but all I see is Covenant I don't see like any of our men coming out to like storm them it just kind of seems like some shit hit the fan there and they started running this way I was going to try and hold off from, like, exposing my position, but that guy saw me, so I might as well just go on in. Why not? Take out these guys. You know, I really like this mission because it builds. If you're familiar with this mission at all, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Like, right now, everything feels pretty normal with the absence of elites. This feels like the standard alien encounter we've been going up against the entirety of the game nothing feels out of place you know a little bit suspicious but nothing too bad and then from here i believe we could turn on the old graphics here we go and you can see what i mean about the ambiance it is dark it is uh i'm gonna turn it on just so we can see the elevator come up don't want to miss the elevator and don't want to fall into a hole very easy to happen. I'm looking around to see if there's any extra items or anything like that. Just to see. You know, these old structures definitely have a lot in them, but let's go back to the old graphics here. See what it looked like. Definitely going to need my flashlight. I hear the aliens talking, so they're back there. Yeah, there's a couple of aliens back there. This will be a cool episode to see what like the aliens used to look like and stuff like that. I know I've tried to show it, but this will be a more in-depth like us going against them and stuff like that. I got stuck behind the shield there, which is always fun. Yeah, man, I really like the design of the jackals more in like the old graphics versus the new graphics. I just think they resemble more what I would expect them to look like in the old graphics but it's okay turn our flashlight back on looks like there's nothing hiding over here there are some aliens down here 
And the accuracy on this thing from long distance is really not all that great. It is not... Whatever. It's not as satisfying as you'd hope it to be. I mean, it's fairly accurate. I guess I have to give it that, but it's not... It's not above and beyond. And even the explosions kind of look a little gimmicky there, but... That's alright. So here we go. We're still... Okay, we're running a little low on ammunition. Our battery on our light on our gun isn't too bad here, so that's always good news. And let's see. Okay, this is dripping yellow slash green fluid from the ceiling. Some aliens coming in here. Some of the Covenant. It is easier to shoot these guys in the old graphics. I want to make sure none of them are hiding. I really want to check out this fluid dripping from the ceiling here. Yeah, those guys look like little devils back in the day. Hey, look at this, it's dripping. Haven't seen that yet. And that's one of the many things I, I didn't show it there. I thought I did. Here's devastation. Just some dead aliens. But, uh, yeah, that's what it looks like in the new graphics. But in the new graphics, that yellow dripping from the ceiling doesn't exist. It looks like here some jackals barricaded themselves in that room to take down God knows what, I guess. I don't know, because we haven't seen any men down here. It wasn't us. Like, we just got here and... I mean, Captain Keys was supposedly coming through this way, but we haven't made contact with him yet, so... What the hell ripped everything to shreds? I have no idea. And you'll notice too, like, normally Halo Combat Evolved has a lot of music going on. This era, or area, is like, oddly eerie. Like, there's not a lot of noises outside of, like, what's going on in the game itself. It's just oddly quiet. Stay back! Stay back! And then, of course, we have this guy. I'll blow your brains out! Get away from me! Go over here so we can hear him. Try not to disrupt him too much. Just leave me alone. Man, it, it sounds like something horrible happened to this man. I need some ammunition for my pistol, so I'm not gonna lie, sir. I'm gonna shoot you directly in the skull. That's what's gonna happen to you. They're gone. Get okay, he's still gone. going. He is still they going. Get me. Oh god. Oh god, I don't want to be like this. Please. Please, no. Please, no. no I, I think that's the end of it. I don't need to hear him say anymore. He's obviously been through a lot. Let's shoot him in the face. We get good ammunition out of him, though. So it sounds like something horrible has happened here. That's what I'm gathering. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of dead alien bodies. Fires. I mean, whatever happened to these people is not swell. Man, I, I love this epic. I love... This is like horror done right in a video game. Like, it's terrific. Like, everything leading up to it, it's like, we were feeling good, killing some aliens, then we came down here and things started to look a little weird. Now we get that guy. Like, shit is not going well. Whatever happened down here was devastating. Okay, I think, can we bring this bridge online? I think we can bring this bridge online. Which is good, we'll just walk clean across it. Hitting the shield. We get some ammunition here for the assault rifle. There's weird symbols on the wall. I'm sure you've seen them. I think this is the point where I'm going to turn on the newer graphics. Yeah. It'll be right down this tunnel here. Let's take a look in here. Looks like this is a room we are going to be going into. We get some Halo music joining us back again. So, uh, there's nothing hidden over this way. Let's go into the room. 
Master Chief opens the door. Let's give it an open, Chief. Hearing some suspicious noises. Does not sound like a party. Dog shaking her fur. Her floof. Open the door and a dead man falls on us. Okay. Once again, another horrific omen. Nothing great is going to be happening here. I hate to say it, but like... It doesn't look like... Good. I'd put it this way. Winnie the Pooh was not playing around here. Something terrible happened to these people. There was no jungle gym. Nobody got hubba bubba. Something horrific happened to all these people here. But luckily we're able to take out the video recorder from Private Jenkins. Wallace Jenkins headset here. And we could see what he saw on this day. So let's see what Wallace Jenkins got into. There's some music playing. And I think these cuts with like the people is two things. I think it's like they didn't do a great job with the remaster. And I also think it is like uh, it's supposed to show like the glitchiness of the recording. So I, d I think it's a mix, but I remember the older version version looking a little bit more clean. So. If you're wondering why it looks a little bit shaky, I think it's a mix. I think it was poor programming, and then uh, them intentionally trying to make the video look spotty. Stay close, Jenkins. So you got Sergeant Johnson with them. Mendoza, move it up. And they're invading, just like we did. They're coming down here, going to the weapons cache, as directed by the commander keys. Okay, let's move! Nothing out of the ordinary. This is what they were sectioned to do. But then, uh... They find a covenant that's been mutilated from the inside out. And they didn't do it to them. So it's not like it got hit with a plasma gun. I mean, maybe it did, but... It looks pretty bizarre. Captain Keys is now on the on the prowl. He's inspecting as well, and everybody's just kind of like, "This is bizarre," but okay. I don't know. I would not be going deeper if I was them, but I just went deeper, so I guess can't speak for them. So now we need to open this door, but it looks like this door's been like intentionally locked by the Covenant. But, we don't bitch, we open the door. Everybody comes on in, investigating. In our military formation, of course. Checking around the room, it's oddly vacant. Okay, Johnson, what do you got to say? What do you guys got to see? You guys are oddly spawning in. I'm gonna blame it on the remake. I don't know if it was like that previously. Oh boy. This call does not sound great. Nothing about this sounds great. It is not looking good. Uh, okay. What is it? Uh, he's being torn to pieces. Oh, jeez. Oh, Jesus. What are these things? Yeah, just take your time loading your handgun there, Captain Keys. No worries. These things don't look horrific at all. Yeah, this is not good. This is not good. I don't... Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, not good. And then from there, he was done. Okay. 
So it looks like we got a new threat. Chief doesn't look too happy about it. I don't blame him. Being as that's the room we're standing in. Luckily with these guys, this mutilated corpse here. Should be able to pick up a lot of ammunition. <laughs> I guess there's that going for us. But I have a feeling we're about to get bomb rushed. By whatever enemy this is. Okay, yeah, there it goes. And welcome to the flood, ladies and gentlemen. A parasitic... I, I don't even know what to call them. They are just... Devastation. Now, luckily, these small ones, they go down pretty easy. We don't really have a problem with the small ones. And even if they hit us, they, they don't do a lot of harm. So it's not terrible. It's just, it's more of a crowd control kind of thing. It's definitely different from battling the Covenant, but... I've definitely had worse fights. Especially being as there's ammunition close to us. I mean, they are still getting in some good hits, I'll give them that. They are still catching me off guard. So I'm trying to lure them all in, like, one singular direction. Okay, probably not good to get yourself into a, back into a room, Average Joe. Don't do that. Here come a whole bunch of them. Okay, yeah, the small ones go down pretty easy. Not the end of the world. It's actually, it doesn't seem too bad. There's just a lot of them. Which explains why the Covenant wanted to keep this room locked. Alright, something tells me, just based off of what we saw and the guy in the previous room saying I don't want to turn into one of those things, uh, something tells me these things, uh, they spread and cause infection or turn people into something. Okay, what do we got here? Let's grenade it. Okay, that looked bigger than the small ones. Okay, yeah, that's because they do get bigger, it looks like. Okay. Oh, man, and they, they are jumpy. They are jumpy. This is not good. This is reminding me a lot of, like, the original Doom right now. But hopefully there's not a lot of those in comparison to the small ones. That's my main hope. Now, I do think now that we unlock that, we can go this way. Oh, there's another one. And I will shed a light on you here, because you can see that guy reanimated and came back to life. Um, like I said in previous episodes, my younger brother is like a huge Halo fanatic. And I used to think that those guys just came back to life, like periodically. What it is, is, and you can see the elites here are having a hell of a time trying to battle the Flood. They are not, not panning well against them. But what it is, and the sticky bombs don't stick to them either, which makes for a ton of fun. But what it is, is if one of the small ones reaches the carcass of a big one, it can take over the big one and turn it back to life. So it's not just like they randomly pick one and then reanimate out of that. There is a method to the badness here. I just, I don't, I was wondering the whole episode, I was like, how does that even happen? And then, I was talking to him about it, and it was like, oh, the small ones can turn into the big ones, they can retake over the brain? That makes more sense than some randomly come back to life and others don't. I'm gonna throw a grenade out here, because it looks like there is a good chunk right outside this door. Yeah, of course, he was waiting right where I couldn't get him. Okay, but these guys still, like... As long as we can back away from them. I know they're jumpers, but if we just keep moving. They don't seem like the biggest threat in the world. They don't have the AI that the Covenant did, right? That's a big difference. They're not strategically planning around my maneuver. As much as they're just trying to completely decimate me from the screen. Which can be terrifying. But, in comparison to the Covenant, I don't think it's as bad. 
Right, they don't have weapons of mass destruction. But they can do a hell of a lot of damage, especially when you don't see them coming. I mean, look at how freaking many there are. Like, and they are relentless. They just keep coming and coming. Like, it really is... You're fighting an army at this point. The Flood are relentless. They just continue to pile on. I'm gonna guess with all these purple things here, we're gonna have to jump and go up this way. You can see there's dead marines. So the marines definitely try to survive here. I get lost, but I mean, it's obvious there in retrospect that... Oh, yeah, because there's aliens here. That's why I get freaking lost. Because I'm trying to get sniped, even though we should all be working together here to take out the bigger threat. Soda pop there. Like, the flood obviously didn't treat them well. I get that I'm the other enemy in the room, but I likely would have ignored them if they didn't try sniping me. And unfortunately, because they're jackals, they're going to be little assholes. They always are. We're going to little dicks. But I'm trying to use these things here to jump up. If I could just be on the same level of them, that would be great. Now, obviously, there has to be some sort of way for us to get up there. Like, it just... has to exist. Okay, there we go. The grenade helped. It at least annihilates them from the playing field so we don't have to deal with them. But yeah, then I see it. Obviously, it's this big pile of purple things here we could jump up on. Okay, there we go. Now we're up here. I'm taking a look around, just because I know with like the introduction of anything like this, Halo's going to give you the tools that you need to conquer it if you just spend the time to look. So I'm trying to be very cautious on every room we enter. There's the tool we need. The shotgun. <laughs> I knew there'd be one hidden around here somewhere. So, if you've never played this game before and you want a little bit of advice, here's how it goes. The small things. Use your assault rifle. Blast them away. They only take a singular hit. The big ones. Just pin them in the freaking head with the shotgun. And you'll be fine. See, here's a big one. Let's see how he goes against the shotgun. He does not fare well. How about these two? Not fair and well. Now the smaller ones, we don't want to waste our precious shotgun ammunition, so let's just spray them down. Get them in a, a hollow area and go to town. You keep that up, you'll do good. Now this is on the normal difficulty. So on higher difficulties, this can be a bit more of a pain in the ass. And we're going down. Why are we going down? I feel like down is... Not the direction I would want to go here. In fact, any direction but down is probably for the better. Okay, let's slay these guys. We'll keep up. Okay, okay. Now the Flood have guns. Now we have some problems. Because now they can hit us with from a distance. We can't just bank on the... Lead him down a path like that. This is actually gonna be an issue. I forgot that they had guns in Halo Combat Evolved. Okay. Alright, so shit just got a whole lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. And it does look like there's something hidden up here. Let's go up here. We get some extra shields, it looks like. That would be nice to have. There we go. The game is giving me some help because I decided to explore. And we could use a couple more shotgun shells just to be safe. So this is going on and off here. Ugh, son of a bitch. They're just going to spawn out of nowhere, aren't they? There's some invisible shields over here to the right that are likely going to be really beneficial to use, but I don't want to get there like halfway through. Okay, here we go. Now we're invisible. 
How far can we make it across this thing? I have a feeling this isn't the right way to go anyways. If I hit them, how does it do? Okay, they don't recognize that I'm hitting them, but it takes a couple hits to knock them down, so I don't think that's really going to be beneficial. Ah, shit, I was hoping to find the door. I'm just going to hit this guy a whole bunch. Okay, die. I want your shotgun ammunition. That's all I wanted out of that transaction. Now, luckily, I have stayed, stayed invisible here pretty long. Which is always good. Okay, now I'm not invisible anymore. But I found the door out. So let's just get the hell out of here. Okay, let's go into this room. Oh, shit, there was a big guy behind me. Fuck. Oh, holy shit. God damn it. They are all over the place, man. And once you start firing, like, you just attract all of them, and now that they have guns, they're, they're just hitting you from every frickin' angle. Breaking glass? The glass smash? Oh, no. Yeah, just use the shotgun at this point. I mean... I'd like to conserve ammo, ammo as much as possible, but... It is not working out in my favor. I, look at how many of them there just are. Like, holy shit. And they just keep punching. There is no slowing them down. Loud-ass car in the background. Wouldn't be an average show episode without it. But here we go. I think this is one of the final rooms. Is it? It's tough to tell, man. All these rooms kind of blend together. But this shield is going up and down. Which is never good. I'm getting attacked. Of course I am. Man, it is brutal. Oh, man, whatever I'm getting hit with right now, it is not good. And the small guys are usually not a big threat, but... In a room like this, they can be. If I have very little health, anybody could be a big threat. Okay, let's let's pop off shots right now. None of these guys have guns. That makes me feel a little bit better. Holy shit, they just keep coming. How many of them are there? Okay, let's smash that. Let's get down here. Wipe them out. We need to get back to where we were, right? Now, we're just- we're going into this room. I don't know how I even knew that was the right direction. I guess I just luckily found it. Shit. Okay, let's wipe these guys out of here. It's gonna say, because they do give me a run for my money here soon. It might not be just yet, but I know in a minute or two. It's gonna be pretty brutal. Okay, there's a guy. Okay. Oh, there's another guy. Shit, see, when they get you cornered like that, it really fucks with you. Oh my god. Jesus, Jesus. Okay, let's go up here. This is a nice moment. I don't pay a lot of attention to it, but there's jackal bodies and um, army bodies there. So it looks like at some point in time, the jackals and my marines did put their, their war behind them to take out the flood, which is a nice moment. This is the only time in this episode I really get sincerely alarmed and set back is right here. So I can unlock this. It gives me a clean portal. I'm like, oh, I'm going to ignore all these guys down here. And then I just start getting demolished over here. Like, here's the... Oh, my God. My health is off the charts. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Holy shit. There's a lot more than I fucking expected. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Fuck me. Fuck me. Holy shit. Okay, get the fuck out of here. This is not good. None of this is good. 
Okay, there's no clear way to get back up there now, though. So I'm gonna have to backtrack, I think. Like, if there was something I could stand on to get up there, I would. But I truly don't think there is at this point. Like, I just need to find a way to get into another room so I can get out of here. Luckily, I think there is one right here. Yeah. There could be more. There definitely is. Oh, my God. How many of them are there? I mean, this goes to show. This is why it's such a big problem. This is why Cortana was like, get the hell there and don't let people unlock the shit. But the shit has been unlocked, my friends. We are going to have to deal with the outbreak of the flood now. And there's not much we can do about it. I mean, as far as humanity is concerned, this would be the end of it. Like, this, this is the end of the line. Now, luckily, with our first initial sweep, I think we should have a much cleaner walk on out of here. Holy, there's still a shitload of them. Holy shit. And I'm still hurting. Don't fall down this time, Average Joe, please. So I have a feeling there's going to be an elevator room over here. Yep. Which usually means a lot of guys, but let's just jump on the elevator and start it up. To hell with it. Okay, it looks like a small guy got on there and hit me. No big deal. Okay, they can finally hear us talking to them again, which is good news. We get to regroup with our men. I try to just lead them to a charge, but I do want to hear what they have to say. Because I actually do think, like, they experienced some shit too and want to tell me about it. But that being said here, ladies and gentlemen, there is only a few minutes left in this episode. If you like this episode, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe. All that good stuff is greatly motivational for myself and continuing to make videos just like this now and in the near future. And uh, it's free on your end. So, you know, no harm in doing that. I do respond to every comment that I find out there. Of course, now we are going through the swamp and uh, going through all that. But like I said, if you like this whole series and you want to keep up with it, Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, uh, especially subscribing. That'll help you to continue to see videos coming out on my channel here. And then, you know, maybe if this isn't your jam, if you'd like to see some other stuff, right now we are playing Pokemon Soul Silver on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And once we finish up with this series here, we'll be playing Super Mario Wonder and then moving into Halo 2 once we finish with that. So either Halo 2 or uh, Kingdom Hearts Rechain of Memories. We might... Um, end up switching our Tuesday, Thursday usual Pokemon slot kick Kingdom Hearts Rechain of Memories and this to Monday, Wednesday as well too. Both options are on the board. I may need a, a little bit of a break from Pokemon here in the upcoming months just because it is approaching the winter season. I played Pokemon all year long but you know we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. I hope you all enjoy this episode and uh yeah, I hope to see y'all here on the next one on Wednesday. I'm going to leave the last couple minutes here for the game to just sort of play out. You can see we're being ambushed and just completely torn apart from every angle, so it's obviously going to end well, but I think the end of this episode will give a good layout as to what is involved in the next episode. So hope you all enjoy, and we hope to see you on the next one. Until then, I hope you all have a snazzy weekend. And uh, peace out, Girl Scout. We'll see y'all here on Wednesday.
Greetings. I am the monitor of Installation 04. I am 343 Guilty Spark. Someone has released the flood. My function is to prevent it from leaving this installation, but I require your assistance. Come, this way. Chief, I've lost your signal! Where'd you go? Chief! 